specificity and absorption of drug molecule we know that drug molecules are chemical in nature so they have ionizable groups so for example if you talk about aspirin uh, aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid so in this you have acetoxic group which is not ionizable then you have acid group COH group which is ionizable in nature so the question is uh, if you talk about solubility of this drug, where will it be more soluble? At low pH or high pH? So when you, when you increase pH, pH of this drug, so what will happen? Because you have acid group here, it will donate proton and it will become negatively charged. So your aspirin would be negatively charged with respect to increase in pH. But how much? How much pH you need to increase? That will depend on pK value of this group. The pK value is around 3.0, for example. So if the pK is 3.0, so at 3.0, 50% of aspirin would be COH form and 50% would be in COO minus form. So it will be negatively charged. So for solubility, any compound which is having charge and polar in nature will be more soluble in aqueous media. So if you talk about pH say pH 2.0 and pH 3.0 where aspirin will be more soluble. So you need to look at the charge on aspirin at pH 2.0 and 3.0. So it's clear from here because if the pK value of ionizable group is 3 so less than 3 pH this group would exist in COH form means zero charge and when you increase pH to 3 and go below, uh, above, it will become deprotonated and negatively charged. So it simply means that according to the rule, if it's charged, it will be more soluble in aqueous media. So this form will be more soluble in aqueous media. So uh, similarly, if you have any drug which is having here, say, some positive charge, so you need to look at that in the similar way at what pH the drug is having some charge. It may be positive or negative charge, to make it more soluble in aqueous media. Similarly, if you talk about absorption of this drug, where will it be more absorbed? In say, in stomach or intestine. When you take a drug, you need to get absorbed somewhere in your elementary system, elementary canal. So for the absorption, because absorption is occurring through a lipid plasma membrane, the rule is different. Means if you have a non-polar compound and non-charged compound, that will be more uh, more, it will be absorbed uh, more selectively and more rapidly across the plasma membrane. So in, uh, in case of absorption, the absorption will be more in case of low pH and will be less in case of high pH because at high pH you have negative charge existing on this drug and at low pH there is no is a net, net charge is zero here it's a neutral compound so it can absorb rapidly across plasma membrane similarly if you talk about absorption of this drug into a stomach and intestine we know that in a stomach the pH is low pH low means uh, uh, this state of uh, drug will exist in a stomach hence it can absorb rapidly in the stomach in intestine high pH is there around 8 so at high, high pH it is negatively charged Hence, absorption of this drug across plasma membrane would be less in, in intestine. So, to, uh, to understand solubility and absorption of uh, compounds across plasma membrane, we need to remember three rules. Rule number one, ionizable groups are protonated at pH below their pK value and deprotonated at pH above pK value. It means if you keep a uh, organic compound ionizable group at pH which is below pK value of that group, it will be protonated. And if you increase pH above pK value, this uh, deprotonated form would exist. Simi in the same way, if you talk about acid group, acid group will have zero charge at pH below pK value because it's protonated. And uh, when you increase pH of acid group above pK value, it will become negatively charged. In other way, if you have a basic group and you protonate it, it becomes positively charged. And when you deprotonate, it becomes neutral. Uh, rule number two, charged and polar form of a compound is more soluble in aqueous media than the uncharged form of the same compound. So if you, if you take a compound 
at uh, which is at a pH where it is having some charge because water water is charged solvent spolar and charged solvent so the charged compound they are happily soluble in water then the uncharged form the same compound and the third rule is uh, for uh, uh, diffusion of compound across plasma membrane we call it absorption across plasma membrane so if you have a foam which is charged because lipid bilayer is uncharged in nature is, is non-polar in nature so charged compound have difficulty in diffusing across lipid bilayer the plasma membrane and uh, if you have uh, uncharged compound uncharged is uh, not polar so uncharged and non-polar compound or uncharged and non-polar form the same compound will diffuse rapidly across the hydrophobic lipid bilayer.